Russian forces to change targets and intensify strikes in coming weeks in Ukraine. Russian Defense Minister Sergei Shoigu has announced Russia's intention to intensify its strike campaign to disrupt the logistics of the Ukrainian military. Institute for the Study of War believes that Russian forces are likely to step up their drone and missile strikes in the coming weeks to maximize damage to Ukraine's infrastructure and defense industrial base before U.S. aid arrives. Military analysts suggest that the focus of Shoigu's talk on strikes on Ukrainian logistics suggests that Russian forces may be shifting their target set to hit Ukrainian transport infrastructure, logistics and military storage facilities. Russian troops are likely to intensify their current offensive operations in the coming weeks to exploit the limitations of the Ukrainian forces in terms of material ahead of the arrival of U.S. security assistance. Russian forces conducted heavy attacks on Ukrainian transport infrastructure in Dnipropetrovsk Oblast on the 19th of April and may intend to repeat and expand these attacks in the coming weeks to cut off Ukrainian lines of communication. Russian military commanders may hope that coordinated disruption efforts will limit Ukraine's ability to sufficiently distribute manpower and supplies to critical areas of the front and delay the improved capabilities that the arrival of U.S. security assistance will provide to Ukrainian forces. Recall Russian Defense Minister Sergei Shoigu highlighted ongoing Russian offensive operations near Chasivya, Avdiivka and Donetsk city and announced Russia's intent to intensify its strike campaign to disrupt Ukrainian logistics. Russian troops are deploying reinforcements to Marienka and Chasivya in the Donetsk region, attempting to strengthen their positions, stated Petro Andriushchenko, an advisor to the mayor of Mariupol. According to him, the Russian army is mostly shifting forces from the Berdyansk direction to the north of the Donetsk region. In particular, there are movements of tracked vehicles. This means that they are pulling reinforcements from somewhere, possibly from Crimea or from under Melitopol, to strengthen Mariupol and Chasivya for further pressure on us. We see airborne units entering, which then participate in the assault on Chasivya. So through Mariupol, we definitely see the priority for today, the northern Donetsk region, Andriushchenko said. North Korean leader Kim Jong-un supervised salvo launches of the country's super-large multiple rocket launchers that simulated a nuclear counterattack against enemy targets. The report by North Korea's official Korean Central News Agency came a day after the South Korean and Japanese militaries detected the North firing what they suspected were multiple short-range ballistic missiles from a region near its capital, Pyongyang, toward its eastern seas, state media photos showed at least four rockets being fired from launch vehicles as Kim watched from an observation post. It said the rockets flew 352 kilometers before accurately hitting an island target and that the drill verified the reliability of the system of command, management, control and operation of the whole nuclear force. Kim said the exercise helped prepare North Korea's nuclear forces for their important mission of deterring a war and taking the initiative in a war. The Kim regime has tested a series of weapons in recent months, including long-range artillery that has the South Korean capital of Seoul within its range, a hypersonic glide vehicle, which in theory could carry a warhead past South Korean and U.S. air defenses, and an intercontinental ballistic missile that could reach the U.S. mainland. Since conducting its first nuclear test more than a decade ago, North Korea has advanced its weapons capabilities, with the ambition of miniaturizing a warhead so that it can fit on a long-range missile. Тачка сгорела. Просто сгорела. Просто тачки не осталось. Качество блещу. Ой, блядь. Ой, блядь, и буханку тоже. Не осталось.
он там с Кубином и собирался с утра записать видеообращение о благодарности всем, кто нам вчера помогал собирать гуманитарную помощь, ремонтировать автомобиль. Но вот, к сожалению, мы вчера ночью приехали, поставили 